In less than a month of his presidency, Joe Biden has already made obvious that he is a weak president. So, USA's adversaries are emboldened. One among them is the Islamist regime of Iran, which has given an ultimatum to Biden. Return to the nuclear deal within a week or get ready for a nuclear Iran. Call it an ultimatum, a warning or a threat. But one thing is clear. Iran is playing on the front foot since Trump left office. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Shubhangi and in this video we shall discuss the latest ultimatum from Iran to the US. Let's begin. Iran's political leadership is realizing that Joe Biden is acting like one of the weakest American presidents till date. And now Tehran is extorting with a simple threat. Return to the nuclear deal within a week or get ready for a nuclear Iran. On Monday, Iran threatened to block all SNAP inspections by the International Atomic Energy Agency or the IAEA if other parties to the 2015 nuclear deal or the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action do not fulfill their obligations. The reference to other parties here is a signal to Washington which abandoned the nuclear deal during the Trump regime. Up until now, Iran wasn't in a position to make such threats as it feared reprisals from Trump, but with Biden, things are different. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Saeed Khatib Zadeh said, if others do not fulfill their obligations by February 21, the government is obliged to suspend the voluntary implementation of the additional protocol. Khatib Zadeh added, It does not mean ending all inspections by the UN nuclear watchdog. All these steps are reversible if the other party changes its path and honors its obligations. Iran is actually serious about restricting the international nuclear watchdog. Iran's envoy to the International Atomic Energy Agency revealed that Tehran informed the UN watchdog about its plan next week to end sweeping inspection powers given to the agency under the nuclear pact. Under the legislation enacted by the hardline Iranian lawmakers last year, Tehran has obliged itself to limit IAEA inspections to declared nuclear sites only on February 21 this year. The Iranian government has restricted its short-notice access to any location seen as relevant for information gathering if other parties did not comply with the deal. Iran's latest threat to the Biden administration is a part of its efforts to pressurize Washington to drop sanctions on Iran. In fact, US President Joe Biden is eager to re-enter the JCPOA, but he was waiting for Iran to show some sense of compliance and then move towards returning to the nuclear deal. So, both sides want each other to blink first, but the way Iran and Biden are going, it seems that Biden will have to blink or else Iran would make the final move towards going nuclear. And as such, Biden has only itself to blame. US President Joe Biden has been snubbing key Middle East allies, Israel and Saudi Arabia, only in order to appease Iran. Tehran realizes that Biden is really desperate to re-enter the 2015 nuclear deal. Tehran can demand whatever it wants by using the JCPOA as a bargaining tool to hold the Biden administration to ransom. 